my channel. I hope you guys are doing good today. So in today's video, I am actually going to do a Nika haul, a little bit of, of some viral products and some aren't actually viral, but these are some new launches that I found on Nika and I really wanted to, you know, uh, buy these and test it out for myself. Anyway, before starting, I do want to say that uh, most of these products are not super affordable. I have Huda Beauty Foundation, which is definitely not affordable. Uh, but yeah, of course, in the coming weeks, I'm totally going to do much more affordable hauls but this time around I did spend a little bit so anyway let's just dive right into the video so first of course I got some repurchases from Dermaco I have been using the Dermaco salicylamide range for a while now and it's been a game changer for my skin with the humidity and heat I was dealing with persistent acne and stubborn marks but this range has really simplified my routine I start with the salicylamide anti-acne face wash which has 2% salicylic acid and 2% niacinamide it effectively cleanses my skin controls oils and helps reduce breakouts and marks my skin feels refreshed and clear every morning. Next, I use the salicylamide anti-acne serum which combines 2% salicylic acid and 5% niacinamide. It works wonders on both acne and the marks left behind leaving my skin smoother and more even toned. To protect my skin from the sun, especially during the monsoon, I apply the 1% Hyaluronic Sunscreen Aqua Gel. It's SPF 50 and PA4+, so I feel well protected. The gel is incredibly lightweight, fragrance-free, and absorbs quickly without any white cast. Plus, it keeps my skin soft and hydrated. Overall, this range has been a lifesaver. It's efficient, straightforward, and has truly improved my skin's clarity and texture. Use my code ARNAKSHI2024 and get additional 20% off on www.thedermaco.com. The Dermaco has empowered 20,000 plus students this year with their Young Scientist Initiative. Every time you buy from them, they will link your order to a child that they help educate along with Pumi. All products by the Dermaco are fragrance-free, including the Young Scientist pictures. Now coming on to the most hype foundation launch of the year, which is the Huda Beauty Easy Blur Foundation and Primer. At first, when I saw the foundation, I knew I totally wanted to get it, but I just thought I would get the foundation and not the primer. But as I have seen all the reviews, I felt like, you know what, let's just get the primer. But you guys know when it comes to primer, I am very picky. I have dry skin. I only like primers that are super hydrating and I don't like much of blurring primers. And that's because blur Blurring primers tends to blur the texture of course but at the same time it kind of just dries out your skin and that's why I don't like blurring primers I don't use it I don't use high-end blurring primers I don't use uh, you know affordable primers like I just use hydrating primers when I saw this they said that this is actually a blurring primer but it's not a silicone blurring primer which is great because silicone dries out my skin and it blurs the texture oh my god the marketing was so genius on this one because it actually literally looked like it blurred out your texture and it's water-based i love water-based primers i love water-based foundations and i was like you know what let's just buy it this is one of my most expensive primers that i got normally i don't usually spend that much on primers but this one i got it and when i first used it i knew i Im i immediately fell in love because this is very hydrating and cooling on the skin but it kind of blurs out your texture it does not dry out my skin the first blurring primer that did not dry out my skin at all and oh my god the finish that i get using this primer like not only this primer and found sorry not only this primer and foundation but this primer with any of my other foundation this looks flawless like I love it and I only would like to use it for special occasions if I'm going out for event and stuff like that. It also does not let my foundation separate. That's the most important thing that I noticed. I have one of the foundation, the Clinique foundation, which separates a lot. This primer helps to just make the makeup intact, keep my makeup on for a lot longer and also blur out the texture that I have. I don't have a ton of texture but I do have texture around my nose area. Oh my god, this foundation is such a gem. But of course, you don't have to get the foundation and the primer both if you don't want to. You know, pick whichever one you like because both of them work together very well. Also, separately also, they work very well. So it's not necessary that you have to get both of them. <laughs> so now coming on to the Easy Blur Foundation. I honestly knew it from the marketing campaign of how they marketed this uh, foundation and how they did not use any filters. I knew I was going to like it, but I never knew I was going to like it this much. Like currently, this is my favorite foundation and I have been using it only for a week now. And I absolutely, absolutely love it so much now this is again a very very high-end foundation and you 
do get like one fluid ounce uh so yeah it's definitely a little bit expensive uh i am in the shade baklava and this shade match is perfection i i was thinking this is going to be a little bit light for me but this is like spot on match for my skin tone and i have to tell you guys sometimes i went overboard with this foundation like you know it's a squeezy tube you tend to squeeze out a little bit more but oh my god it never looks cakey never whenever i'm wearing this foundation with the primer or without the primer my skin looks blurred out like it looks blurring it's also hydrating it's not something that uh, you know dry skin people are not going to love if you have dry skin you are also going to love it you can totally see that this gives a very nice semi matte finish like a very nice satin finish it's not too dewy but it's not too matte it's the perfect foundation you can wear this every single day also you can wear it during events that's the type of foundation that i personally love i love a foundation that's very versatile and you know having this foundation in my routine and using it every single day I have noticed that this also is very long lasting and it does not separate at the end of the day like it does not you know wear off that badly a lot of foundation initially it looks nice but as the day goes on it looks really bad cracky dry flaky this does none of that it's actually very nice and you can see that it does look blurring too um you can see the blur effect more in real life i would say so here especially in this area where i have texture and smile lines I can see that it totally blurs those out and it doesn't sit under my fine lines like it doesn't sit here which kind of is a little bit of a problematic area especially in my mouth area it always looks cakey like foundation tends to look cakey in this area but with this foundation mm, it's looking very nice so it is a expensive foundation but I would 100% recommend it if you're looking for something to splurge on so here's the best part about the Huda Beauty haul was that I got the blush and uh, lipstick for free. Yeah, this was free of course. Like the blush is a full size product and the blush alone retails for 2000 something. So I was so happy that I got to try out the blush of Huda Beauty because I have never tried out Huda Beauty blushes. And this one is more like a blush and a highlighter in one. So it's, it's, it's a little bit on the pale side so you can build it up. It gives that very nice glowy dewy finish almost like you have wet skin and that's why i said that you can use it as a blush and a highlighter both together uh if you want a lot of payout i don't think so the shade proud pink is the perfect shade for brown skin because as you can see when i blend it out the glow is there a little bit of that pink tint is there but overall the payout is not too much uh which is why i feel like uh, a lot of their other shades would be perfect for you know deep shades would be perfect for indian skin tones but definitely not this shade this shade i know that i'm going to use this with another powder blush and on top of this i would go in with this blush to make my makeup look more dewy and glossy that's exactly the word glossy and wet makeup this is going to give you that you know that glowing skin from within without having any visible visible sh shimmer sorry visible shimmers i'm having a bit of ulcer so that's why a little bit hard for me to speak right now anyway coming on to the lipstick that i have right now with me which is the liquid matte lipstick now this is a very famous lipstick of huda beauty i have tried out their liquid lipsticks this is in the shade trendsetter and trendsetter is a pretty nice neutral nude shade especially for indian skin tones but this looks better with a nice brown toned lip liner alone this looks a little bit dead on me so i today went in with the exotic brown lip liner from mars which is my favorite to pair up with neutral toned uh, lipsticks and i think this pair works so nicely so yeah i really actually love the lipsticks as well so yeah it was a great buy because i got two products free with the huda beauty haul which was great so anyway coming on to the next launch we have here is the maybelline uh teddy lip tint so this i've seen a lot of positive and negative reviews about this i personally have to say i like it. i love the packaging first of all it's so cute i did not have any idea that they are going to launch this because i work with maybelline and normally they do send me pr but for this i got it with my own money from nika i saw this launch on nika immediately bought it uh so yeah this is not sponsored or pr at all so this one i have to say i've seen a lot of negative and positive reviews about this for me i do have to say i like it especially the shade um 
skinny dip because this one looks so natural so i like to do just one layer it looks more satin on my you know lips i feel like if you do two layers you're going to build that up but don't do more than two layers because after that your kind of lips look bad and patchy uh so do two layers max and i think you're going to get really nice payout with two layers so yeah for me i like one layer and it looks so natural it's a very satin matte like you know it's more like satin but after a while it goes matte and it does not transfer so really that's a good point of this lipstick another thing i want to say is that you can use this as a blush also so if you are someone who's in a hurry and you don't have a lot of time to put on another blush you can use this blend this with your fingers today i didn't use this as a blush but yeah you can use this as a blush i love the mauve shade as well but i feel like the nude shade looks much more better on my skin tone than the mauve i'm not a huge fan of mauve lipsticks anyway so i think uh, these were really good i have seen i don't know why people may not like it maybe because of the satin feel i feel like maybe people thought it was going to be much more on the matte side so yeah but it has a satin finish at first and then it dries down so i wanted to say that so the next product that i have oh my god it went viral and i finally tested it out so this is the color bar uh, pudding something sort of a lip and cheek mousse tint so this one is very similar to the viral free let me just take this out this is the viral free uh, lip mousse uh, yeah i think that's the name of it so it's like a pudding sort of a thing it's very velvety it's very spongy sort of that kind of same product the catch here is color bar released it before the free so free or free i don't know how to pronounce it uh but anyway yeah so the color bar released it before and but it did not go viral so once the free got viral people noticed this color bar has the same sort of formula and you know it has the same feel to it so that's when the color bar went viral but i do have to say it feels very similar the color bar one is a little bit more dense i would say just a tiny bit but yeah overall it's definitely very very similar you won't notice that much of a difference unless you have have both of them you can tell the difference just a tiny bit of difference in the texture but the application the way it sits on my lips the the color payoff everything is just very 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 similar so i would say yeah if you don't have the free one and yeah the free one is a little bit more expensive go for the color bar one and it gives a very nice natural wash of color that is why i like these and i actually have been using the free one a lot more and every time i wear it my lips look so natural like people just ask me if i'm wearing a lipstick or not because it looks so 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 natural even right now it just looks like a wash of color and that's it not like a full on pigment and that's how i like to use these so the last product i have here is perfume now i saw this launch on nika and i only wanted to get this because of the packaging and the name so first of all the packaging is so cute <laughs> very very cute but let's come to the fragrance so this one is mini vanilla and this one is mojito love like they launched a perfume which is in mojito flavor if you love mojito then definitely this is the perfume for you but anyway coming to the scent i would say it gives me very 90s feel first of all it looks vintage guys like the packaging definitely looks very very vintage but it has a strong sharp you know scent to it i wouldn't say the mini vanilla is sweet in any way like it has a little bit of the sweet undertone but it's definitely more sharp and a little bit more musky i would say yeah definitely musky and sharp but has maybe a base of vanilla to it um not my favorite <laughs> why because i love sweet scents when they say vanilla give me sweet give me a you know a proper vanilla perfume because that's what i expected from this uh product but it did not deliver anyway coming to the mojito i had no expectation like i never tried a mojito perfume so i was like how is a mojito perfume going to smell like but it smells exactly like mojito it smells exactly like mojito like if i smell it i can smell the mint from the mojito that we have you know the fresh mint scent one second yeah i can smell the fresh mint scent i can smell the lime sort of that tangy zesty lime and the seven up that they use seven up or sprite they used right i can smell all of it it's weird it's weird it really is weird because i can smell mojito from this perfume i'm not sure if i would wear this out like i don't know if i want to you know go about my day smelling like a mojito definitely this smells very fresh but i don't know if i want to smell like a drink but i did get it because it sounds unique and if you want to smell like a mojito then definitely get this so overall i would say from this entire haul my favorite has to be the primer and the 
foundation and also the lipsticks uh, i like the color bar lipsticks a lot more and i also like the maybelline one but the color bar one is just on point anyway that was it for today's video let me know if you want me to try out any other new launches especially affordable ones because i haven't been honestly keeping up with a lot of affordable stuff so please 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 let me know about um, you know affordable makeup that's launched that's unique it has to be a little bit more unique like i am kind of bored testing out the same sort of makeup so if you have something that's you know that you feel like is unique and that's affordable and you know you want me to test it out let me know in the comments down below and i will definitely get on to it anyway thank you so much for watching i love you guys and i'll see you guys in my next video Bye bye